Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm doing things in a bit of reverse order here this evening. We're going to be kicking off their first of three videos actually being a personal break as opposed to a couple of case openings for the shop. So three videos this evening, but this one thought I'd go from shortest to longest here this evening. So we're kicking things off with a hobby box of the brand new Game of Thrones release from Rittenhouse, the Game of Thrones Complete Series Volume 2. This is for Randall B. from South Carolina. So thank you so much, Randall, for letting me open up some Game of Thrones for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now, we did open up two full cases this past Wednesday. Saw a couple of Sophie Turner autographs. Those are really neat. We found an Artifacts Metal, number 25. We found a Sketch Card. So I'm excited to see what we can find here in this box for Randall. There are just three packs per box. Each pack has 10 cards per pack. And you do have one auto per pack. So three autos in total here. You can find a lot of really nice things. Amelia Clark, Kit Harrington once again, Peter Dinklage as well for some of the more notable signers. But I really enjoyed this product and I hope we find some more fun cards here this evening. Now all the boxes are serial numbered. This is box number 1,844 out of the total 15,000 print run. So Rittenhouse did announce that there's only 750 cases of this product does come out to 15,000 boxes as you know cases have 20 boxes per case they're quite large although as you guys will see the actual pack size is not that big the packaging did not need to be this big but that's a complaint for another time let's go ahead and see what we can find here for Randall by snapping us into the corner and I'm excited to see what we'll find like I said I did enjoy this product on Wednesday I thought it looked really cool I like the inserts I like the base design I'm a big fan of inscription and the full bleed style autographs. I'm curious to see what we can find this time around. So an autograph in every pack. Like I said, 1844 here out of 15,000 total. These are the same style, like the, the box designs, the same style as Iron Anniversary Series 1 and Series 2. This set really doesn't have anything similar to the complete series set. Even though it's volume 2, it's... It's like Iron Anniversary Volume 3, I would say, for me. In my opinion, you know, box size, things like that, the insert styles. So, excited to see what we'll find. But yeah, it's called Complete Series Volume 2, although it's more in line with the Iron sets as opposed to the Volume 1 Complete Series. This pack here is heavy. Should be a metal insert. There are those metal expressions, but you can also find the Artifacts Metals. Ooh, what is that? I see gold on it. Looks like, because I see that border down there, it looks like one of the metal expressions, but uh, I can't think of which one had like a gold background. All right, so this is the base design. We have our first autograph is, I think one of the red ink styles. We do have Natalia Tenna as Usha for our first autograph. All autos are on card, by the way. There is a cut auto in this product, Diana Rigg as Lena Tyrell. Uh, of course, she has passed away, so they're cut autos instead of, like, new on-card autos. But they are on-card cuts. They're not stickers. Hi, Sparrow. Oh, I saw the gold here in the background. That's what was catching my eye. So, hi, Sparrow, quotations. And we do have In Memoriam, Daenerys, insert. I like this insert set. It's quite large. I think out of the two cases, we were able to make the full insert set with, like, just one or two duplicates. So, it's not easy to get the ones you're looking for in particular. Out of the two 20-box cases, we only had one of those Daenerys cards, so that's pretty neat. We have a Ramsey Iron Anniversary Update insert, card number 207. We have parts of the Dragonstone insert, which makes a puzzle on the front and on the back. That's a neat one. That's DS6. And then some more base cards. All right, so let's leave up our autograph. We have Natalia Tenna here for our first one. There we go. Alrighty, two more packs. Let's see. I still can't get over how big the boxes are for how little packs there are. Like I said, it, it definitely follows that Iron Anniversary series pattern. All right, next auto. Looks like a full bleed style with the whites. Yeah, we do have Jazzy Delisser here as Tansy, who looks quite upset in this image. Jazzy Delisser. Then this here, I learned when I was going through the base, although they look very similar, I was able to catch the red ones as we went through, that were number 25. This is actually gold numbered to 50 here. Daenerys thwarts her enemies in Karth. 
That is number 48 of 50. We have the head of households inserts. We have House Tully. More Ramsey here for the update. Quotables inserts, number 83. And more base. The one thing I do like about the regular base sets, so that's these cards here, is they do also, I really, Rittenhouse appears to be big fans of puzzle cards, which I really like as well. So there's nine cards per season to make a 72 card set for each of the baits. So season one has nine cards, season two highlights has nine cards, and they all make puzzles. They all make puzzles on the back of like key scenes. So I like that. I think that's neat. And we also had that Daenerys number to 50 there. That's cool. All right, one final pack coming for Randall. Let's see. All righty. See our final autograph. We have another inscription, or not another inscription, but our first inscription of the box. Let's see. We do have Tara Fitzgerald. So Stannis cheated is the inscription. She has nice penmanship here. So Tara, uh, Celise Baratheon. Stannis out here cheating. That is the inscription. Then you look like regular base. Yep. And we do have a copper parallel. Number 33 of 99. I think that's the Davos base. Another Ramsey. Vista's insert, Bear Island. All right, that'll do it. So we had one red ink, one full bleed, one inscription autograph here, a gold parallel, a copper parallel in this box. So let me finish sleeving everything and we'll take a look. So as I mentioned, lots of different puzzle cards in this set. The base cards, each of the season's highlights, each section for each season of the base makes their own puzzle. These characters, there's nine cards for Ramsey here. The center card has his name, the rest of them don't. Uh, but that also makes a puzzle on the back. The dragon stones, a bunch of Daenerys highlights essentially, makes a really cool Daenerys puzzle on the back. The in memoriam, the house inserts, the vistas, and the quotables are like normal cards. <laughs> they have normal text on the back or images. Uh, but I like these. It's like info about, of course, how everybody dies. <laughs> but the in memoriam set, I really like the purple. It really, it really looks good in my opinion. That's uh, I'd say my favorite insert. But yeah, one metal card on the metal expressions per box. If your box is extra heavy, you might have a bonus metal. Let's start off our recap with our numbered parallels. We have the copper here. 33 of 99, then the base gold parallel Daenerys from season two, that is number 48 of 50. And then for our autographs, we had the inscription, Tara Fitzgerald as Celise Baratheon, Jazzy Delisser full bleed style as Tansy, and Natalia Tenna here, red ink autograph as Osha. And with that, that does wrap off this opening here for Randall. So thank you so much, Randall, for letting me open up some Game of Thrones for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Excited to check out more boxes of Game of Thrones tomorrow night during our live stream. We actually have a full case as a personal break, an assortment of other boxes, like one and a couple two box orders, I believe. So we're gonna be checking out a lot more Game of Thrones here in the near future on the channel, and I'm excited. I, I like the inserts. I like the design. All the different ones, from the metal to the vistas to the in memoriam to the base. Really enjoy the design of the set, the flavor, the feel. And I'm excited to see if maybe we can find an Amelia Clark or something else that would be amazing. But lots of cool cards in the set and just excited to see what we'll find in general. But for this opening, that does do it here on this one for Randall. This does it for our Game of Thrones here this evening. Have a couple of TCG products to get on into. We have a full case of Cardfight Vanguard. What's it called? Ridiculously long title. It is Raging Flames Against the Emerald Storm. Lengthy product title. Then also we have a case of Y Shorts, The Seven Deadly Sins, Revival of the Commandments. So we have some mouthy titles coming up here. But you know, since I'm getting started on recording a little later than I wanted to, thought I would go ahead and get this video up first. That way we have something, you know, up on time at seven o'clock. So yeah, couple case openings coming a little later tonight. I hope you guys will tune in for those if they sound interesting to you. But before I wrap off this video, I have to do my end of video. Just cringe. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. Comments for me. Drop those down below. 
And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us. We just hit 40K subscribers during actually this product stream. So that was super awesome. Thank you, everybody. But it's never too late to become a part of the family. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here and into those other openings, do have to wrap things off by giving an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have eight Black Label fans, Anden, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Soltari, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Bamboo, Butch Corby, Geriatra Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Genef Zen, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. Oh, that's, that does it for me here in this one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you guys will join me in the next video. Bye.